Today we are inside a tropical house in uh, Botanical Garden and we are going to look at some plants and discuss what are some of their features. So let's get in. Greenhouses in botanical gardens offer a close encounter with tropical plants that usually thrive deep underneath the canopies of humid and equatorial forest prefectures of the world. All the plants that you see here have special adaptations to thrive in high humidity, moisture, dappled sunlight, and organically rich and acidic soil with tons of fruit space. Some of the famous tropical indoor plants are acclaimed for their variegated leaves with unique foliar shapes and dark green colors never falling short to amaze you. The trump card of having broad and dark green leaves allows tropical plants to harness even the slightest of the incident sunlight, thus increasing the carbon gain and photosynthetic energy. The bird of paradise is one of the wonders of the tropical world with broad banana-like fan-shaped leaves. The plant gets its name from its dramatic flower that looks like a bird taking a flight. Shaflera, another mesmerizing shrub, have palmately compound leaves composed up of ovate leaflets assisting the plant to take on lots of sunlight at once. Some other tropical speciality of this zone includes this Mahonia species, having compound leaves with dark green spiny and stiff leaflets. Cabbage palm leaves have peculiar Japanese fan-like folding, allowing it to have larger surface area to capture maximum light and respire profusely. The most popular ones include radiator plants or Peperomia species, with alternating leaves arranged on long viny stems and love warm, moist tropical understory areas. Surely, these plants are appropriately called radiator plants. However, not all the plants are self-sustaining, like this Philodendron, which is an epiphyte and clings to other neighboring tall trees using its aerial roots. If you are deciding to open a tropical greenhouse, don't forget to add parlor palms. Their unique flowering stem turns bright red during the fruiting stage. Furthermore, fig rubber trees with glossy and dense foliage although need a large area to grow. They fit perfectly as an indoor potted plant for 5 to 10 years before outgrowing their planter. Tropical plants also never miss a mark while bearing healthful properties. These herbaceous asparagus species have nutritious medicinal properties and are culinary delights. But, if you are a fond of staying in a porch surrounded by skyophilus tropical plants, better get a begonia. This magnificent beauty has a wonderful array of pubescent leaves with creeping habit and short stature. However, tropical plants are always under constant threat of deforestation. About 34% of tropical forest areas have been annihilated and the remaining are left in our hands for protection.